Today's video from Sam for s Health. We're going to demonstrate how to connect a serial barcode scanner um, to the NR500 series of cash registers. In this video, we're using the 510F. Uh, the process is the same across the range, so what I do in this video will work on all four models in the 500 range. You'll need a few things to get this to work. You'll need your new barcode scanner. We recommend using a serial connector barcode scanner. So you also, in all likelihood, need a gender changer. All the scanners seem to have female um, connectors on them, so you need to change it to male because the serial port on the side of the register is female as well. Um, you'll need the barcode programming sheet, so it, can, it gets a bit tricky with barcode scanners and cash registers because obviously cash register manufacturers make tills that don't make barcode scanners and likewise people who make scanners do not make cash registers. Um, I'd recommend, I mean if you're looking at this video having not purchased your till yet, I'd always recommend buying your scanner and cash register together from the same supplier um, because then you can get them to set it up for you. Um, when you're dealing with different suppliers on this sort of equipment, you've got your cash register guy who can support you on the cash register side of it, so setting up the, the port, you, but he can't help you on the scanner, or she can't help you on the scanner. Um, and likewise, the scanner people um, can supply a scanner, um, but they can't necessarily support connecting it to a SAM4S cash register. Uh, and this isn't a problem unique to SAM4S cash registers, it's, a problem with all cash registers and it doesn't really matter which uh, manufacturer of barcode scanner you order um, so I'm using a brand called Sunlux but the, it, it's it's the same um, whatever whoever's made the barcode scanner um, so yeah we'll, we'll see how we go what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how difficult it can be so I've done no programming so far either on the till or a barcode scanner so the till is effectively brand new out of the box with no port configuration and the scanner has not been programmed either. Um, I'm, ho I'm hoping this video, you might not be able to follow it exactly, but I'm hoping there's enough information in it to point you in the right direction. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take the scanner out of the box. the stand, I don't need the stand and all that sort of thing. So here's a barcode scanner. Um, to me they all look pretty much the same. You, you generally have two sorts. You either have a single beam barcode scanner like this one um, or you have an omnidirectional scanner um, with mirrors and motors in it so it's got lots of beams so it's a more aggressive scanner. The actual configuration and setup of them is, is no different. Um, so we have this end goes into the barcode scanner. And then this end goes into the till, but we see with the problem, we've got a female connector here and the same on the side of the till. So that's where our gender chamber comes in. So I'll pop that on the serial port one on the side of the cash register. And then that should allow me to connect the barcode scanner. So you heard that beep, I've actually left the power on, I meant to turn the mains off, but I'm a bit old fashioned with this sort of thing. I think you can get away with it these days, but in the old days, if you connected something like a barcode scanner to a cash register, you had to make sure everything was switched off or if you wanted to cause yourself a big problem. Okay, so we've tightened that up, so that's all connected. We now turn the till on and in the register mode, um, the scanner's lit up, so it all looks like it's working, but I can absolutely guarantee you that it won't be. Um, so you can see on there, I've got a beam coming out. I now pick a barcode product and scan it. So n effectively nothing happened. Well, the scanner beeped and tried to read the barcode, um, but because neither the port configuration on the till has been done or any programming on the barcode scanner, um, then effectively nothing is happening. So the first thing you need to do is to configure the port on the register so it knows it's got a barcode scanner connected to it. 
So on this machine, to do that, you turn the metal key round to the service position, so you do need the key marked C. And then you, we need to go to line 5, define port, by pressing 5 or scrolling down to it, and then cache. We're in port 1, so we go straight into that. And then we're looking for the line that says device. It's, as standard, it's none. We want to choose scanner, obviously, and then press cache and come back out of it. So all the other port settings there, I need to match those on the scanner, uh, which is where my scanning programming sheet will come in later. Um, that is the actual only programming I need to do on the till. So if we now turn the key around to the reg position. So if you bought the till from someone and the scanner from someone else, the till people will have told you to do exactly what I've just done there. You'd scan your barcode and you've got not found PLU coming up. Okay, so that surprised me, it's actually working already. So not found PLU basically means that the, um, the scanner and the till are connected. So that's a really good message to get. I wasn't expecting that to come up. I thought I was gonna actually have to program the barcode scanner. Um, so, so basically that's it. The next step is to actually program um, one of my barcodes. I'll do that in a separate video. Um, if this doesn't work for you, so I wasn't expecting that to happen, so let's clear that error, clear that message. Um, if that doesn't happen, the next step should have been to program your barcode scanner. And the way you would do that is the supplier of the, if you've got, if you've got the till and the scanner from the same place, the people should send you a um, configuration sheet for programming the scanner, which will basically look like a series of barcodes and you have to scan them in sequence. And that then base effectively configures and programs the scanner to work with the port on your cash register. Um, so it's it, it's a really boring thing to do. You just scan a list of barcodes, but without those barcodes, you then can't get the scanner to work. Um, so yeah, so that's basically that's it. I'm all done. I've actually configured it. I'll just double check that. You can tell I'm surprised that it works so easily. There we go. Not found PLU. So the way around that is to now go in and program my PLU. So what I'll do is I'll put up a video um, that I'll link to at the end of this video showing you how to set up your barcode products on the till and then also how the scanning actually works on the register. So yeah, recommend checking those videos out. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit samforshelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.